A bacteria-based clothing revolution is unfolding in Brisbane. Queenslanders are hoping to cash in on the global kombucha craze by using the slimy skin of the fermented tea to create fabric. It's smelly and unpredictable, but sustainable, as Stephanie Smale reports. Growing your own fashion. It's a democratic material, which means anyone can make it in their kitchen with a minimum amount of fuss. Peter Musk heads Australia's only kombucha biotextile research program. It's one of three in the world. It's always revolting. <laughs> Some people love it. It's a vinegar smell, OK? It's a sour smell. Most people drink it, but the kombucha culture can be combined with yeast to create a curd, which then becomes a textile. Peter Musk's perfecting ways to dry and waterproof the Pongi product for hard-wearing items like shoes and jackets. The most recent thing I've come up with is good old coconut oil. If you rub coconut oil into it when you dry it, it remains supple and plastic and pliable. It's a Queensland University of Technology and State Library partnership. For designers, the versatility of the vegan leather is a drawcard. It's never really um, occurred to me that you could make clothing out of a bacteria. And if you don't like the result... Um, put it into a blender, re-blend it and then make another garment. Alexandra Bell put theory into practice, showing off the leathery kombucha fabric with a little sparkle. Anything bigger scale would need more experimentation and how to wash it and take care of it. It may take some getting used to. It looks like slime. It looks like, do you want to feel it? You've got to feel it. But these students were fascinated by the futuristic fabric. Like, I actually think you could pull this off as like a leather jacket as well. It would be kind of cool. <laughs> a lot of people didn't like it, but I actually really like the smell. It's like a honey, sweet sort of thing. Kombucha clothing is already gracing catwalks in the United States and Britain. Back in Brisbane, work is underway to make commercial production of everyday wear a reality. We've tried various ways of using the material and that's when we found sewing wasn't very good. Moulding and gluing were much more preferable. But to my surprise, it actually hasn't been taken up on a commercial scale. The cutting edge of culture. The experiments continue. <laughs> Stephanie Smell, ABC News.